If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello magic community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with T1's Dumb Forge Mystic again. Uh, Mythic MTG Tech, one of my favorite uh, Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube, mostly Magic the Gathering. I uh, made a video a while back. It was a uh, playset wish video. Here's what he said. If a genie came to you and said, I can grant you one wish for a play set of cards, what one card would you ask for? Now, there's some conditions on this. You can't get a set to sell or trade. They would actually have to be played. You would never be able to give them up. They would be a staple in your collection forever. And I've been thinking about it, and what I would have as my one card for each of those formats, and what I would have overall, uh, these are what I ended up picking out. So to start off with the one that I would want most of all, that would be Force of Will. Uh, if I had to say for a certain format, it would be Legacy primarily, but for part of the reason I picked Force of Will is that I can use it in so many different formats. Legacy, Vintage, Cube, EDH. It's a very versatile card, and I did not have mine for very long. I, my, they were short-lived in my collection before I had to turn around and sell them. Uh, and so Force of Will would be my one card, if I had to say of all of these. And it would be for Legacy primarily, but for other formats. So he went through, say, Standard was one of them. Mine in Standard would be Narset Transcendent. Part of that is because I'm using four in a, in a Standard deck right now. Um, I don't actually have Narset, I have proxies of Narset. And so uh, I would definitely have her if I could. I can also use her in Modern and in EDH, and I think she would be good in Cube, depending on your Cube. I would like to uh, use Narset in more than just Standard, but definitely Standard, and that's a theme that you'll see throughout these. So my modern card, for instance, is Damnation. Now I, I thought about this long and hard, and honorable mention goes to Liliana of the Veil vale and Tarmogoyf, both for being super expensive. But Damnation uh, for two reasons. Firstly, I actually am, I don't have enough for Infect to make uh, and in fact deck that's as good. I've had to sell off a lot of cards and so as a result my main deck, my primary deck in modern is no longer in fact it's a Rakdos control list and it could use some damnation. I'm running Languish but I think I would prefer to have damnation in there. Um, it's running Anger of the Gods and Languish instead. Um, and also you know a good card for EDH a uh, cube card as well. If any type of player has been clamoring for that reprint, it's EDH, and they haven't gotten it yet. Just the Judge promo, and that's it. Now, I already said Legacy, although I can see where you're coming from on Imperial Painter. Or Imp Imperial Painter. Imperial Recruiter, and I jump to the deck Imperial Painter. Uh, that's part of why I would like that card, uh, but Force Will sort of beats it out. For Vintage, Mine would be Bazaar of Baghdad, partially because, with the exception of Bazaar of Baghdad, the Vintage Dredge deck isn't all that expensive, really. It's pretty much housed in that card. I'm not exaggerating by too, too much. Um, and also, it's just a very powerful deck. In Vintage, it's turn 1 percentage, or game 1 percentage, is huge. There are a lot of decks that go to their sideboard for two decks. Workshops and Dredge, and that's it. That's all they need. If they play another blue control deck or hate pairs or something, they're just going to hope they get what they need because the Dredge match and the Workshops match, those are so bad uh, for them. Now for EDH, probably Austere Command. It's not all that expensive, but I'm the kind of player that would try to throw that into basically every deck. I'm a firm believer in uh, not one for oneing in a format that's made for multiplayer. And Austere Command lets you pick two modes, all of which are Wrath something, uh, 
wrath creatures that are big enough, wrath creatures that are small enough, wrath artifacts, wrath enchantments. All of those seem pretty good for what I'm up to. So, the next card and the last one that I have picked out right now, I, I guess I do have one more, is uh, for Cuba, I would take Jace the Mind Sculptor. I've been wanting to have just one. I don't know that I'm the kind of player that would want more than one. And obviously in cube, that's all you get anyway. Uh, if I could make a power cube, Jace is the kind of card that I would want in it, but right now, my cube is a mono blue cube. Also, Jace fits right in. It's missing a few uh, important pieces. It's missing uh, Vendillion Click, Cryptic Command, um, to ferry the five mana non planeswalker, the creature, the flash. It's missing Jace the Mind Sculptor. And then just a few other miscellaneous cards here and there. A lot of what's left though is just expensive. You know, so there's that and one more. Uh, I still like tiny leaders. I know that format has largely withered at this point, or at least around here it has. But tiny leaders is still my favorite. Um, fan format, I guess you'd say. And in that, I would like to run Liliana of the Veil. I just don't have one. She's an all-star, you know, in general, but especially in a format like that, since she's the biggest your planeswalkers can get. Um, yeah, and she breaks bogles, she fights control, she does everything. And I had been experimenting, and I almost finished the deck before I moved. It was an Anafenza the Absin one, uh, Infect deck. So a white, green, black Infect deck. And it was fun, and it was almost finished, and I had to sell cards out of it, so... Oh well. You do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah, as much as they say that the format's been solved, I will still try to run Infect as much as I possibly can. And that looked fun. The deck surely did. Alright, so... That's it for us for now, right? All right, my baby. And this is Evangeline, being sleepy. You got your nap, but you're still waking up. All right. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say I'll see you later? All right. We'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.